Spin out skids and fender benders, holiday driving, it can be dangerous. Yeah, I'm going to take a look and show you uh, snow and ice conditions at Sandy Ann Pass right now. Yeah, it's a mountain pass, so it's usually pretty tricky up there. But really, what would you, would you know what to do if your car really did start to slide in snow and ice? We sent our Amy Fraser to the Pro Drive Racing School out at PIR to find out. With the press of a button. It just raised the car up a little bit. Todd Harris with ProDrive turns this parking lot at PIR into a winter wonderland. We'll probably make it like an ice skating rink today and let you slide around. What you see here today could help you in real winter conditions on area passes. Or any place you might run into snow and ice. Even, Todd says, if you have four-wheel drive. What four-wheel drive does for you? It gets you going. You've got four contact patches and allows the vehicle to get moving. What it doesn't do is help you slow down or corner. And again, that's when four-wheel drive can become a four-wheel skid. I found out a front-wheel skid is the most common. Front-wheel skid, or the understeer, that's that feeling that the front tires have been turned, but they're not getting enough grip, and the car is plowing off, off the road. He says the number one thing to remember is to look where you want the car to go. If the front tires are skidding, stop accelerating, okay? And if you need to, you can just squeeze a little bit of brake. I'll show you right now. But I found out it's a rear wheel skid. That can be the most frightening. Hold on. <laughs> With this, a rear wheel skid, car starts to slide and lose traction on those back tires. And in this kind of skid, hitting the brake can have you spinning. We can make it icy for you. Oh boy, here she goes. Hang on. Oh, that <laughs> in a rear wheel skid, Todd says you'll naturally counter steer. Look in the direction you want to go and stay off the brake. Good, good. Okay. Safe winter driving also means slowing down, leaving plenty of room, and using your car's controls smoothly. So the slicker the road condition is, the less white knuckling on that wheel you want to do. The more you just want to move the wheel and glide. In North Portland, Amy Fraser, Coin 6 News.